good audio devices for content creation like shotgun mics aren't hard to come by these days. Something like the Deity V Mic D3 can give you podcast quality audio when positioned just right. So in this video, I'll be showing you three ways you can use the Deity V Mic D3 to get great audio. I'll also go through a quick breakdown of how I would edit the audio out of this mic in order to get it sounding just right. Disclaimer, this mic is meant to be an on-camera shotgun mic for content creation, but it definitely can be used in more ways than just that, which I will be demonstrating in this video. The Daddy V Mic D3 is the second shotgun mic I'd ever purchased, and the first way I used it was on camera. I mean, this is basically the standard way to use this brand of shotgun mic on the camera, in the vlog setup, out in the world, vlogging, living it up like an influencer. Maybe you don't vlog and you have it on camera in a studio setup. You're a talking head content creator and you shoot B-roll. Then you'd have the mic on top of the camera or boomed, which is the second way you would typically use this microphone. Boomed above you, aimed down towards your chin to capture dynamic audio. Typically in a setup, this mic would be closer to you. This means better sounding audio than if it was on top of the camera a little further away. But if you really wanna get close to the mic, then you set it on a desk, something like this, which is a third way to use this mic on a desk. This is typically the way you would use this mic while podcasting in a Zoom meeting or live streaming. Having the mic directly in front of you will give you the best audio with this mic or with a mic like this which is how I use this mic in majority of all my videos. I know it looks better if you don't have it in frame, you can undersling it, but I think having it in frame gives it better audio and it also shows what you're, what you're using, so why not? So we have our three setups, but how do they sound? I intentionally did not use this mic for the A-roll portion of this video because I wanted to keep that for the test portion. Now I'm gonna give you an unedited sample of the audio and an edited sample for your reference. Let's test this mic out in the three different setups. Let me tell you about Epidemic Sound, a stock music service that is not sponsoring this channel. They have a massive sound effects and music library that you can gain access to with the link down in the description. You can get 10% off of your first 12 months plus a 30 day free trial. But you should take advantage of the 30 day free trial that I have linked down in the description. Did you like the little epidemic sound animation? If so, you can create the same one. Just go down to the link in the description, click on the Canva link, sign up for the free account, and you can create the same animations. Sign up for the pro account to unlock some of the better animations, graphics, stock videos, and even music. Also down in the description is a list of all the gear I use to create these videos. Do know that majority of the links in the descriptions are affiliate links, which are free for you to use. I provide them so you don't have any intense searching to do. Use them if you want, but most importantly, leave a comment down below with any questions and suggestions you have or over on Instagram with things you wanna see on this channel. So what do you think about the audio samples? Does it sound better with the edits or without the edits? Let me know down in the comments below. I created a preset for my audio edits. I have a few which I use to test out to see what works best based on the way I captured the audio. Let me show you what I use for my audio edits and masters. First, you wanna compile all of the processors you wanna use. Now here are the processors I use. I use a compressor, a limiter, a noise gate, a channel equalizer, and a de -esser. Now, editing audio can get way more complex than this, but this is what I typically use. When using these processors, it will take some tweaking to get it to where you like it. Based on the mic you were using, the way your voice sounds, and whether you like the mids, the highs, or the lows. With that, you wanna play around with all of these in order to get the audio sounding good. Thanks for joining and staying awesome, you know, stay awesome.